10 AZAM with Troy Heath, Andrea Robinson, Ron Hu, Celeste Rodriguez, and Corey McCloskey. Ah, heading home for the holidays, right? Millions of Americans, they're doing that. Airports across the country bustling with travelers today. Sky Harbor's very busy. Marcy Jones is there live. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, guys. It is, uh, it's a beautiful morning here, actually. It's not too bad. We are at security, everybody's favorite part of flying. Coming up, we talked to some travelers about traveling on one of the busiest days of the year. Stay with us. Now shut up and drive. Lots of folks will be driving instead of flying, but driving here in Arizona can be dangerous. Why, a new study says Arizona has some of the worst drivers. And it's that time of year again. Zoo Lights back at the Phoenix Zoo, which is always a great event when you and the family can go check them out. How about that? Oh, it's here. The holidays are here, finally. Yeah. I like those zoo lights. My tie is all over the place. That is a little cattywampus. Like, me up with this. Let me fix you up there, you. my friend. You know, and somebody uh, was cooking cured meat in here. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind. Is I it a bacon sausage. or a sausage? And pancakes. Man. All in honor of two great men that were born on this day. Oh, who would be one of them? 21 be? years ago. Who would one of them be? This Dean Blondie Birthday right Corey. here. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant Dean Fazzini. And Dean Fazzini. You guys are twins. Our, our trepid tower cam <laughs> operator. Lock, oh, yeah. What? what? Bless you. Troy. That's my birthday salute to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I'll share it with Dean. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both be uh, at home in hospital beds, I'm sure, next week. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's going to be a great day. Uh, I don't know what you have planned. If you're going to be ramming around the state, maybe you're heading out. And Black Friday is nearly upon us, yes. which means lots of shopping, right? There's one retailer, this would give you a clue right here, who usually doesn't dabble on this type of a day, right? They're above it. But not anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up more on that, Troy. We've got some changes at that spot. Okay. At 7 o'clock, let's get to some news for you now. Team coverage, a very busy travel day. We start with Marcy Jones, who's live at the airport as people head out of town to visit family. We'll check in with her in just a few minutes. But let's start with Liz Kodalik, who's live along the freeway. And actually, most people are traveling by car on this holiday, aren't they, Liz? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. AAA is actually saying that more people are going to be driving by. that you should really look out for. Texas and Louisiana, they apparently have the worst drivers in the country. So everyone, please be safe up there and enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday. Troy, back to you. All right, Liz, thank you. And a reminder to be careful out on the road. Several people hurt after a bad crash in Loop 101 in Tempe last night. And this morning we have new video of that crash. So take a look, shot by Victor Gonzalez, and you can see a truck in flames as he passes by that wreck. This happened in the southbound lanes near Southern. Seven cars involved in this. DPS has a white pickup with speeding, passing cars in the shoulder between the HOV lane and the barrier wall. The driver hit the wall, bounced back across the freeway, hit six other cars, and two of those cars caught fire. The driver of the truck taken to the hospital. Another person also hurt. The driver of the truck believed to have been impaired, uh, and that's what caused all of this and that huge traffic backup. A light for Wednesday light. Yeah, you know what? I thought it would be a little lighter than it is. Yeah. Early this morning it was, and I have a feeling a lot of the traffic we're seeing right now, it's all near and around downtown Phoenix, so okay. people heading to the airport. And I zoomed in on the terminals and the lanes leading into uh, the airport. Very slow right now. So if you got travel plans to, you know, get to the airport, again, they've told you, plan accordingly, leave yourself plenty of time to maneuver through the airport park and all of that. 
Right now, though, if you're just trying to make it into the office for one more day, let me get you into work on time. Uh, Queen Creek at the I-10. So along Queen Creek, right at the I-10, there is still an accident there. It's almost cleaned up. It's not affecting the flow of traffic in the inbound direction coming up from that section of the valley and then on in toward Chandler and Ahwatukee. However, we do have some delays on that portion of the 10 up through the Broadway curve. We've got delays right now on the 10 inbound right at 7th Avenue before you hit the Deck Park Tunnel for an accident there. It's a minor one. It's been pulled off to the shoulder of the road, so it's not blocking any of the main line of traffic. And then we've got another accident. Looks like they might have just cleaned it up southbound at Bethany Home Road on the 17. There was a crash there, but it looks like it was moved off of the map. And then this one along 107th Avenue uh, southbound right at the I-10, so right as you uh, work your way toward the I-10. Let's take you outside. I'll show you what it looks like at 27th Avenue and the I-10, and you can see the traffic there. Actually, not as bad as it was um, about 10 minutes ago. So it's starting to free up just ever so slightly, uh, but those delays do pick up back at 83rd Avenue. <laughs> Once again. I met anybody who has invited relatives to Arizona <laughs> for Thanksgiving. It's going to be great. No matter where you are in the state, your temperatures are just... Here in the nice sunshine. Uh, I'm sure he's happy to be home. Yes. All right, Ron's out in the newsroom with a look at some other headlines for us. What do you see, Ron? Yeah, interesting enough, Corey, just talking about that weather in the upper Midwest. You're looking live at the pictures behind me. Out there for us. Uh, you showed us the, the uh, what was it, the check-in area or the security area. It wasn't that bad. What about where you are now? It's really not that bad. It sounds like things are more exciting in the studio. You guys have cured meats and cave crickets, and all we have are travelers. <laughs> but we are going to go over here. This is our friend Jesus. He's keeping everybody safe. Jesus, you're America's hero. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. We're going over here. Take a look. Things, again, running pretty smoothly. It's picking up as the time goes by, because obviously when we first got here at about 4.30, it was pretty slow. We just had a few early morning flights. We did see one or two lines. That's just because the gates weren't open yet. But right now, it's running like a well-oiled machine. So here are a couple tips and to help you today. Travel a little bit lighter as normal. Now, you know that airlines start charging for checked bags. It's a good idea to pack a little bit bit lighter and carry on your bag. But just remember that a lot of other people are probably going to be doing the same thing. So keep in mind overhead space may be a little tighter. If you are picking up or dropping people off at Sky Harbor, drivers are encouraged to use the Sky train station at 44th Street in Washington. This may be a better option for you because you don't even have to drive into the airport. You can avoid that hamster wheel traffic. Now there's also a free cell phone waiting lot there. There's also a boarding pass kiosk where you can print out your boarding pass before arriving to the We are traveling today on one of the busiest travel days of the year. How are we preparing? I came super, super early to the airport, and it's kind of empty. It is. I know. <laughs> I was surprised, too. I think it's going to pick up, but you did the right thing by coming early. Remember that. So I love your travel outfit. You are so cute. Thank you. It's amazing. And tell us your Thanksgiving Day plans. Well, I'm meeting my husband in Philly. Because we're going to Disney, leaving over the weekend, so Thanksgiving is sort of getting squeezed in before that. So we ended up getting a hotel room in downtown Philly for like okay. next to nothing and there's a big parade the next morning on Thanksgiving morning and then you're off to the happiest place well, on earth yeah over the weekend then so oh we're, we we squeezed in a little Thanksgiving celebration but it turned out to be completely cool because we get to go to the parade and I found a tiny little restaurant that's serving a turkey dinner so that's Kathy, what we're doing can you just adopt me can we go to Disney together <laughs> please do you mind sure. Kathy's husband no I'm sure not well you are so great thank you for talking thank to you. us and happy Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving to you Bye. good luck thanks Bad news for me, Kathy left without me, but that's good news for Kathy. So we have some other travelers over here. We have Sydney and Nicole, mother-daughter. Yes. Yes, excellent. Now, where are we going today? We're going to Kansas City. Fantastic. Now, are we excited? Are we seeing family? Yes, we're very excited. We're, it's the holidays, and we're in the season, so here we are. Yes. 
Now, were you surprised at all today about how it's not that crazy yeah. right now? It's very calm. I'm really surprised. Mm -hmm. So we anticipated heavy traffic, but it's good. Not bad at all. I love your travel outfits. You guys are so cute. I have to ask, what are the dishes that you guys are most excited for this Thanksgiving? Uh, noodles. My mm -hmm. mother-in-law makes noodles, and they're amazing. So, oh, I yeah. love that. What about you? That, too. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> no, no desserts, girls? No, the noodles. Noodles. Yes. Noodles over pie. Awesome. Yes. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, guys. Again, running pretty smoothly. I think it's going to pick up as the day goes on and more flights are coming in. But right now, I mean, you can see. Not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. We'll take no. it. Well, it's still 7.15 in the morning, too. Yeah. It'll probably pick up. Right? Exactly. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? I Find know. I've evening. been acting like I've been out here all day. <laughs> Three hours. <not> bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving noodles. That's a new one I for know. me. I love tradition. Thanksgiving noodles. I love hearing I'm into about it. other people's traditions. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. And cute travel outfits. Gonna, and you the know, whole deal Marcy, Marcy, you cover it all. Cute travel outfit. It's like the Marcy Jones show at the Sky Harbor yeah. Airport. It's fabulous. Well, she not? looked like she was like ready to go somewhere fun. Uh, right? She tried to jump on with that one lady <laughs> going to Philly. <laughs> Good morning, you two. Good morning, everyone. So let's talk about this. Black Friday deals. Apple has never really participated in Black Friday until now. Until now. I mean, in the past, they offered deals on hardware and accessories, etc. Small things, right? For, I mean, who cares about these mittens? No. Yeah. But we would never do that overnight deal. We would go oh. like at 8 in the morning. But we haven't done it in years. Are you I'm sure? I thought you were a camper. No, me? <laughs> never. Come on. I'm sorry, but you could not pay me to wait in line for a TV. I just It's just not me. That's just uh -huh. me. That's just me. I don't want to be cold sitting out there. Right. I don't want to be and waiting. It's just, I feel like you're like this in all the stores, and then you're like and no one looking wants at to mittens see me. for, I mean, who cares about these mittens no, you say 50 cents yeah. on? Yeah, and no one wants to see me passed out like this with my mouth open, drooling, waiting for the TV deal. Well, you paint and a someone very nice it. picture. Like, that would just be, no. I'm just going to stay home. <laughs> and stay home. Anyway, okay. Uh, a lot of you have short weeks because of Thanksgiving, a three-day week. Does it seem like working those two or three days of the holiday, they take longer than normal? Yeah, I think so. Mm. You're not alone. You're not the only one, because scientists say that days drag and drag for a couple of reasons. One, reality doesn't live up to your expectations. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, you're thinking, this is going to be a really fast week. Yeah, but and then still, it, you know, there's I so think many the hours anticipation, the too, of what's ahead, it just drags out uh, what you yeah. have to get done. So don't start the week thinking about turkey. Focus on the work in front of you. Uh, and light winds across the country. Three to give you a little bit of a reference here. Here is the State Route 85. Uh, Mile post 83 means 83 miles this side of the California border. At this point, both lanes are blocked. However, they're able to allow the traffic to get by on the shoulder. We're already seeing a decent backup here. So again, if you've got family coming in from California, just tell them uh, you guys might see a delay. Although if they're leaving soon, mm, you know, maybe four or five hours from now, uh, it might not be too bad. I'll keep an eye on that and keep you updated. Through the north part of town, maybe a tap of the brake lights here or there, but it's definitely holiday light. Uh, so maybe you're heading up to the high country. I-17 between here and Flagstaff, Prescott, Cottonwood, Sedona, you're good to go there. And then maybe you're going to be heading up towards the Vegas area, Kingman, maybe even uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, no problem so far in these parts of our state. April. All right, thank you, Gina. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to start off with some really nice temperatures this morning. We've got a beautiful sunrise for your Thanksgiving Eve here in the Valley of the Sun. Uh, it's a little cool this morning, but layers would be a good idea because later today, yeah, you're probably not going to want to be in pants or a jacket. Uh, 54 degrees right now in Phoenix, 45 in Gilbert, and 46 degrees. Four degrees there with clear skies right now uh, and light winds. Across the country, though, we are starting to see some delays. We saw some delays earlier this morning in Houston thanks to thunderstorms, but it looks like uh, everything is back on time there. Minneapolis now showing some moderate delays, and that's because uh, they've got some snow there this morning and kind of a wintry, a nasty wintry mix there as well, probably causing some dry.